the three moment equation introduction the continuous beams are very common in the structural design and it is necessary to develop simplified force method known as three moment equation for their analysis this equation is a relationship that exists between the moments at three points in continuous beam the points are considered as three supports of the intermediate beams consider three points on the beam marked as one two and three let the bending moment at these points is m1 m2 and m3 and the corresponding the vertical displacement of these points are delta 1 delta 2 and delta 3 and respectively let and be the distance between points 1 to 2 and 2 to 3 respectively a hinge and a ruler and we subdivide into three points at point 1 point 2 and point 3 and at point 1 we have m sub 1 moment at 1 and from 1 to 2 a distance l sub 1 with a corresponding load and from 2 to 3 l2 and another loading at point 1 we have m sub 1 which is the moment at 1 at point 2 we have m sub 2 and point 3 m sub 3 moment 1 moment 2 and moment 3 which is x sub 1 and other area at x sub 2 and we have the delta 1 which is the deflection at point 1 delta 2 at point 2 and delta 3 at point 3 the continuity of deflected shape of the beam at point 2 gives theta 2 1 is equal to theta 2 3 theta 2 1 is equal to theta 2 3 and theta 2 1 is equal to theta 1 minus beta 2 1 and theta 2 3 is equal to theta 3 minus beta 2 3 based on the deflection we have theta 1 is equal to delta 1 minus delta 2 all over l sub 1 and theta 3 is equal to delta 3 minus delta 2 all over l sub 2 using the bending moment diagrams and the second moment area theorem the moment and the bending moment theorem theta 2 1 is equal to 1 over l sub 1 times 1 over ei sub 1 times m1 l1 squared all over 6 plus m2 l1 squared all over 3 plus a1 x sub 1 or theta 2 3 is equal to l1 over l2 times 1 over ei2 multiplied by m3 l sub 1 squared all over 6 plus m2 l sub 1 squared all over 3 plus a sub 2 x sub 2 where the areas of the bending moment diagram of span 1 2 and 2 3 respectively considering the applied loading acting as simply supported beams m sub 1 times L sub 1 all over I sub 1 plus 2M sub 2 times summation of L sub 1 all over I sub 1 plus L sub 2 all over I sub 2 plus M3 times L sub 2 all over I sub 2 is equal to negative of 6A1X1 all over I1L1 minus 6A2X2 all over I sub 2L2 plus 6E multiplied by the deflection or the strain delta 2 minus delta 1 over L sub 1 plus delta 2 minus delta 3 all over L sub 2 and the above is known as the three moment equation if E and I are constant then M1 L1 plus 2 M2 times L1 plus L2 plus M3 L2 plus 6A1A1 all over L1 plus 6A2B2 all over L2 is equal to 6EI and multiplied by H1 all over L1 plus H3 all over L2. For the application of three moment equation to continuous beam, points 1, 2, and 3 are usually unsettling supports. Thus, H1 and H3 are 0, which means the 
deflection is equal to zero. With E and I are constants, the equation will reduce to, and this is the formula, M1 L1 plus 2 M2 times L1 plus L2 plus M3 L2 plus 6 A1 A1 all over L1 plus 6 A2 B2 all over L2 is equal to zero. This is the three moment equation. And for the factors of the three moment equation, 6 a times a bar all over L and 6a times b bar all over L and we have the types of the loading for concentrated load anywhere on the span we have a distance a from from the left support and a distance b at the right support with a concentrated load at point a between a and b and the total distance of L and for the factor for 6a times a bar all over L, we have pa all over L times L squared minus a squared. And to the right, we have pb all over L times L squared minus b squared. And for concentrated load at the mid span, which means half of the length or the span from the left and half of the span from the right. And the factor for 6 a times a bar all over L, 3 P L squared all over 8. Because it is at mid span, therefore 6 A times B bar all over L is also 3 P L squared all over 8. And for uniform load over the entire span, from the left support up to the right support at a distance L, with the uniform load W, and the formula for the 6a times a bar all over L, WL cube all over 4. Also, at 6a times b bar over L, the factor is WL cube all over 4. And for the increasing triangular load on the whole span and the distance L, the factor which is 6a times a bar all over L, and it is equivalent to 8WL cube all over 60. And for 6a times b bar all over L, the factor is 7wl cube all over 60. And for the decreasing triangular load on the whole span, which means the left span has the highest value for load, and at the right support, we have a zero value and form a triangular load. The formula for the factor for 6a times a bar all over L 7wl cube all over 60 and 6a times b bar over l the value is 8wl cube all over 60 and for the isosceles triangular load over the entire span we're in the highest value for load w is at the mid span and the formula for 6a a bar all over L is equal to 5wl cube all over 32. Also, for 6a times b bar over L, the value is 5wl cube all over 32. And the last two parts, factors moment load at any point on the span, which means a moment at point A from the left and point B from the right, the value for factor for 6A A bar all over L, we have negative M over L times 3A squared minus L squared, while 6A B bar all over L is equal to positive of M over L times 3B squared minus L squared. And for the general uniform loading, the value for 6a a bar over L is equal to W over 4L times B squared times 2L squared minus B squared minus A squared times 2L squared minus A squared. And for 6a bar a B bar all over L, it is equal to W over 4L times D squared times 2L squared minus D squared minus C squared times 2L squared minus C squared. So these are these are the factors to be used for the three-moment equation. 
based on the given loadings. Example, a continuous beam carries the following loads. A uniform load of 12 kN per meter from point A to point B with 4 meters distance and a concentrated load of 20 kN from B to C at center or mid span of at 6 meters length. At point A, a fixed support. At point B, a ruler. And point C, also a ruler. And we need to compute first, compute the moment at point A. Number two, compute the moment at B. And compute the reaction at C. Solution. One, which is the moment at A, consider an imaginary span DA, so we need to analyze at DAB, DAB, and the factor 6A1 of A all over L1 is equal to 0 because it is a free end at point D and 6A2B all over L2 and factor 6A2B all over L2 with a uniform load of 12 kN per meter and the factor is W L cube all over 4 and W is 12 kN per meter multiplied by L which is 4 meter cube all over 4 and the value that's 192 kilonewton meter squared and for the formula for 3 moment equation MDL1 plus 2MA L1 plus L2 plus MB of times L2 plus 6A1A all over L1 plus 6A2B all over L2 and equate that to 0. And for the moment at D, the value for MD is equal to 0 plus twice of MA and the lengths are L1 is 0 plus L2 is 4 plus MB and L2 is 4 plus 6A1A all over L1 of DAB that's 0 plus 6A2B all over L2 that's 192 positive 192 and equate that to 0 so 2 times 4 that's 8 MA plus 4 MB plus 192 and equate that to 0 and divide everything by 4 so this is 2 MA plus MB plus 48 and equal to 0 and this is equation 1 and for span ABC which is 6A 1A all over L2 L2 is the second distance or span from A to B the first span is the imaginary span which is the distance is 0 and BC is the line 3 or 6 meters and 6AIA all over L2 for a uniform load that's WL cube all over 4 and this is 12 the uniform load multiplied by AB distance that's 4 cube all over 4 and the value it is equivalent to 192 kilonewton meter squared 
and for 6A2B all over L3 and it is a concentrated load the factor and the value is P A L open close parenthesis L squared minus A squared all over L and the value P is the concentrated load of 20 kN multiplied by A that's 3 meters and L squared the total length of BC is 6 squared minus A 3 squared close parenthesis all over L sub 3 and the distance is 6 and the value so 20 times 3 times 6 squared or 36 minus 9 that's 27 multiplied by 3 times 20 all over 6 and the value is 270 kilonewton meter squared and MC is equal to 0 at point C a ruler so MC is equal to 0 and the formula from span ABC so MAL2 plus 2MB times L2 plus L3 plus MCL3 plus 6AI or a 6A1 of A divided by, by L2 plus 6A2B all over L3 is equal to 0. MA times L2 that's 4 from A to B plus twice of MB and L2 is 4 plus L3 is 6 meters plus MC which is a ruler so therefore the value for MC is 0 plus 6A, 6A1A all over L2 that's 192 plus 6A2B all over L3 that's 270 and equate that to 0 and this is 4 MA plus 2 times 10 that's 20 MB plus 192 plus 270 that's 462 and 462 is equal to 0 and this is equation 2 equation 1 is 2 MA plus MB plus 48 is equal to 0 and equation 2 that's 4 MA plus 20 MB to 462 and equate that to 0 and we need to eliminate one unknown and in this case we will multiply it by 20 the first equation and we subtract so 20 times 2 MA that's 40 MA plus MB times 20 that's 20 MB plus 48 times 20 that's 960 and equal to 0 and for the second equation just copy 4 MA plus 20 MB plus 462 and equal to 0 and we subtract 40 MA minus 4 MA that's 36 MA 20 MB minus 20 minus plus 20 MB that's 0 so cancel out and 960 minus 462 that's positive 498 and equal to 0 therefore MA is equal to negative of 498 divided by 36 and it is equal to negative 13.83 kilonewton meter and this is moment at A at 1 the equation 1 2 MA plus MB plus 48 is equal to 0 and MA is negative 13.83 so 2 times negative 13.83 
plus MB plus 48 and equate that to 0. So MA or MB is equal to 2 times negative 13.83 that's 27 or negative 27.66 plus 48 and MB is equal to negative 20.34 kilonewton meter MB that's negative 20.34 kilonewton meter MA that's negative 13.83 kilonewton meter and to solve the reaction at C to find the reaction at C we need to cut the span BC and at point B the value for MB is negative 20.34 negative 20.34 and to find the reaction at C that's RC and we solve summation of moment at B is equal to 0 so MB is negative 20.34 and that's negative so negative counterclockwise 0.34 concentrated of 20 kilonewton at 3 meters from B and clockwise direction so plus 20 times 3 and the reaction C from C to B that's 6 meters and the direction is counterclockwise so that's negative RC times 6 meters and equate that to 0 and the value for RC RC is equals to negative 20.34 plus 20 times 3 that's 60 so 60 minus 20.34 and we divide by 6 and the value for and the value for RC that's 6.61 kilonewton and upward direction and this is the reaction at C